Chat, it's actually so crazy when, like, you just think about all the fucking different things that are, like, what's it called? Like, actually, like, what's it called? Repercussions of climate change and shit. It's just like, man, we're fucked. Well, chat, what we're fucking doing, all right? I'm trying to get a 300 fucking game in Nintendo Switch Sports Bowling. That's a perfect game. That's a strike every single fucking round. I'm really bad at bowling. I'll be real. I have strats that are supposed to be good. They just never fucking work. So we're going to try it. Um, I say I'm going to be streaming until I do it, but don't hold me to that. Don't hold me to that, chat. You haven't learned you're playing Nintendo Switch Sports again? Watery Copass, you know what the craziest thing is? Do you see any, do you see any straps? Do you see any straps? Do you see any straps? I don't see any straps. I kind of wish I saw some straps, but I don't see any straps. I just, I don't have straps, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to every 40 year old in my comments. Okay, I'm too used to playing badminton, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to every like 40 year old fucking molding in my comment section being like, dude, why isn't this guy using straps? What the hell, dude? What a fucking idiot, dude. But like, I don't have straps. I'm sorry. God knows where they went. God knows. All right, let's get into it, chat. I'm playing online at the start. I think it would be really easy to do a 300 game online, but like, that does mean I can't like exit quickly if I fuck it up. Imagine I just got it first try. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? But like, chat, I like, the amount of hate I got for not having my straps when like, literally, I don't think, I think half of the population of Switch people who don't have parents, you know what I mean? Like, well, not like, <laughs> don't have parents. Everyone, I'd say like 50% of people who own a Switch over the age of like, 16 and like they have the switch in their room. It's their switch. It's not like their family switch They don't have the straps because there's no use of them. So they fucking lose them. All right chat I've got a few strats. I'm gonna try out the first strat is this It's you stay in the normal position and you try and get like The blue bit bordering perfectly on like that fucking triangle right there <laughs> Well fuck <laughs> Chat, it's gonna be a long day man. It's gonna be a long fucking day Listen, that's the one I usually use. It's not consistent at all. The next method chat, Jody got a 299 game. Every fucking one of them, they got a strike until the final one where they got a nine spare. What they do is they just literally go to the middle and they just fucking throw it and hope. Yeah, I'll be real. <laughs> chat, you know how my title says streaming until I get a 300 game? I don't think I'm gonna get a 300 game. And I'll tell you right now, I'm not streaming forever. All right, next strat chat. Jody's strat is just like go generally around the middle and then just fucking throw it. Oh my God. Maybe if I move it like over further like this way, it might actually work. Oh, that's beautiful. Never mind. Yeah, this is the annoying bitch. I have to wait so fucking long for this. I might just go offline for practicing. What if I just like perfectly aim there? That's the problem, chat. I'm getting too much curve on it. I think it honestly might be better if I try and do a strat where I just throw it, like, perfectly straight, but I sit down. Because, chat, I said this, like, yesterday, man. When you sit down playing bowling, there's so much less motion in your arm because you don't have, like, the movement for your arm. So the actual time that you're, like, controlling the ball is way less, which means you're much less likely to actually, like, throw it with, like, curve. You know what I mean? See, I literally lost this. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go into single play to practice. Boom. See? See? I, I did very little different, chat. So, like, I'm doing such similar things and I keep fucking up, bro. I keep fucking up. My next strat, I reckon, would be doing, like, this. And trying to get it perfectly straight. Trying to get this just perfectly fucking straight. Yeah, that's not that good. That's not that good. Chad, should I look up a video? Hello? Did they like patch spin? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, chat. Yeah, we're hitting it. We're hitting it, chat. We're gonna be done in 20 minutes. I mean, it's good that they're adding golf, but honestly, the one bad thing about golf is it looks like the courses they're doing are being reused from the original Wii Sports. I guess we haven't had like any real like confirmation though, but that is definitely the biggest worry about golf, man. The biggest worry about golf is the only course we've seen from golf is one that was in the original Wii Sports, which is like, come on, bro. Like, what the fuck? All you have to do is make like 18 tracks like once a decade, all right? Just make new fucking tracks. It's not that big a fucking deal, you know what I mean? You know, playing games like this really makes me realize, bro, how fucking lazy is the Pokemon company, man? 
Like, every, every other aspect of Nintendo is so just, like, top-notch well done. Every other fucking series of theirs is so fucking well done. And just, like, every game they come out with is great and polished and beautiful. But then Pokemon Company, like, like I said this earlier, like, this is, this is a reused joke chat. They haven't discovered 720p. It's insane to me. I mean, X and Y is when it started going to shit, because that was way too fucking easy a game, bro. Isn't it well done? Why isn't Mario Kart 8 well done? Like, I do have problems with Mario Kart 8, but why is it not well done? Same game from the Wii U. You're such a fucking idiot. <laughs> if that's like, yo. Was the one on the Wii U a well a well done game? Yeah, like that's just that's just. I'm sorry, that's just a stupid point in my opinion, bro. Like, yes, in a perfect world, they would have made a new Mario Kart game, but the game that they have is good. All the games Nintendo are releasing on like main series, Zelda, Mario, Mario Kart, are good. Fuck, that was actually close. Like, it shouldn't have been close, but it actually was close. Yeah, like, I, I do get your complaint. I guess there's, there's, there's definitely still complaints to have for Nintendo and their main company games, but at least their games are, like, very solid in their output. You know what I mean? Yeah, fucked it. I mean, I do have genuine complaints about Mario Kart 8, but it's still a good game. It's a still, it's still a good game for the first fucking 100 hours, you know what I mean? Yeah, that was really bad for me. See, I was doing great chat. I got, like, five in a row, and then, like, I just overthought the strat. I keep throwing it that way. My only problem with Mario Kart 8 is... In the past, maybe it's just because I was a kid. Every... Yeah, I did fuck that one up too. In in the past, every track felt different. Maybe that's just because I'm a kid. But if you actually like play Mario Kart 8, you realize every track is like constructed in the same way. Like di the tracks are different, but they're all like the same width and they have the same like corner angles. So they all feel the same after a while. There's nothing like new or interesting about any tracks once you play them a lot. Because every single corner, every single track is constructed with the same type of like formula. It's just differently skinned. Like, I'm sorry, bro. The only reason Arceus, Legends Arceus was so well received is because every other game they've made recently has been fucking dreadful. Like if, I think Legends Arceus is a good game, but if any other company made Legends Arceus, bro, everyone would be like, what the fuck's wrong with the graphics, bro? The dialogue is fucking obnoxious. It took me like an hour to get through this. It's not even open world. You know what I mean? But since it was better than anything and such a big step in the right direction, people loved it, Legends Arceus, including me. For those exact reasons, because it's a massive step in the right direction. Sword and Shield was a step in the right direction. At the same time, it was every step they took in the right direction was terribly done. You know what I mean? So it doesn't really count. Like, what the fuck was the wild area, bro? Just like a circular fucking area full of the worst. Like, the wild area is cool. But it was so fucking off, bro. The entire map design in that Sword and Shield was fucking terrible, bro. But yeah, like, our standards for Pokemon are so low when, like, look at our standards for Zelda. Greatest games of all time. Genuinely, bro. Like, look at our standards for fucking uh, mainline Mario games. Fucking Odyssey, bro. What are, what are the most recent ones we've gotten? Odyssey. 3D World, which is pretty fucking decent. Like, it's not, it's not, it, it's a great game, but it's not up to the scratch of the other ones, but it's still great. And then fucking, what, what was the mainline Mario game before that, apart from a handheld 3D land? It was fucking Galaxy 2, was it not? Like, that's fucking insane. Galaxy 2 and fucking Odyssey are two level, like, the greatest fucking games of all time, bro. Every other, every other franchise, maybe they're not making critically acclaimed games and shit, or like, the greatest games of all time, but number one, they never did. And number two, they're ap appeasing their fan base. You know what I mean? You don't hear a Splatoon fucking three player complaining. Maybe because there's so fucking few of them. But you know what I mean? For a Pokemon to go from like some of the greatest games of all time, like literally one of the biggest franchises in the world is outputting absolute trash every fucking year. It's actually crazy when you think about it. Genuinely the biggest like media franchise in the world. What's bigger than Pokemon, bro? Like, Star Wars, man? I mean, Star Wars is outputting trash as well. Harry Potter's outputting trash. So I guess when you put it that way, it's kind of understandable, bro. But I don't understand how Pokemon fuck up their formula so easily. Chat, you could you could run me over. Give me, like, a brain... Genuinely brain-ruining injury, and I could make a better Pokemon game than fucking Sword and Shield. Design. I couldn't fucking code it, of course. But I could design a better fucking Pokemon game for you. 
than fucking Sword and Shield. And I genuinely mean that, chat. I genuinely mean that. I'm not even just like talking shit. I genuinely believe I could do that. It's not hard. They literally have the most basic fucking formula in the world and they fucked it up so hard, bro. I mean, I could literally just say, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna use textures that are 720p and then I've already made a better fucking game in Sword and Shield. They didn't even, they didn't have an evil team in Sword and Shield. They didn't have an evil team. The evil team wasn't an evil team. It was literally just like a group of people that are used as a block to say, you can't go here because they couldn't design the map well. And there was no story around them. The story was they were supporting their little sister. And then the actual story was fucking the head of the Pokemon League is the villain. But like, that just means there's no story, no plot, no like fucking... There's no plot until genuinely like... You're 80% done with the game. Let's go Eevee's mid. I'm gonna be real, chat. Why the fuck do people not like the Let's Go games? Why don't people like the Let's Go games? It's just the original fucking Pokemon games with beautiful graphics. And a different catching mechanism. I think the biggest thing to be said about the Pokemon Company is they went from Let's Go fucking Pikachu and Eevee, which are beautiful fucking games, to absolute fucking trash with Sword and Shield. And honestly, I don't take any fucking remake slander. I don't like any fucking remake slander, bro. Because it's just... Uh, this part of the fan base wants this. This part of the fan base wants this. This part of the fan base wants a completely faithful fucking remake. This part of the fan base wants fucking a remake that adds all this extra content and stuff like that, bro. Literally, Nintendo has the worst fans in the world. People can't stop fucking complaining about anything that fucking happens. Which is why I feel for Nintendo, bro. Because no matter what they do, there's always like a large portion of their fan base being like, This is fucking stupid. Why didn't you do it like this? But if they did it that way, everyone's gonna say, This shit fucking sucks. Mr. Man is the worst fans in the world. Amen. Amen. No, generally, like, any any massive fan base of something just sucks. I'm not just saying that I'm trying to be edgy, bro. Like, just... No matter, like, literally, no matter what Nintendo has done for the past few years, they've been hated on. Nintendo can't do anything right. And it's understandable for, like, Pokemon Company. Pokemon Company genuinely cannot do anything right. Actually, I think the biggest, like, the greatest thing to happen in humanity, you know, like, my biggest restorer and faith of humanity chat was the fact that Nintendo dropped, I mean, Pokemon Company dropped fucking Let's Go, I mean, Legends Arceus, which was fucking trash, to be honest, bro. If any other game development company did that, like, as a standalone game without the context of Pokemon Company, as a company, that game has got so many fucking just horrible game design choices and shit like that, bro. It's just, it's very badly done, to be honest. But because it was such an improvement and such a step in the right direction, everyone was so fucking positive about it, bro. So fucking positive about it, including me. They complain about it? Okay, I thought I thought you were saying like um Nintendo made massive uh, like a massive problem or something. Genuinely fans of anything suck. I guess at the same time though, I feel like all these massive franchises are really fucking up. As I said earlier, Star Wars, Disney's kind of butchering like half the shit. Like they're redeeming themselves like Mandalorian and probably the Obi-Wan fucking series is gonna be pretty good, bro. But like Disney fucked up the trilogy so bad to the point people don't want it to be canon. It's kind of crazy, bro. And like before that, people were already complaining about like prequels and shit. People hated the prequels. It's so funny, man. People hated the prequels so much and now the prequels are like somewhat loved just because they realize how bad it can truly get. You know what I mean? Watch yeah I heard I, I didn't I didn't hear about Boba Fett. I did, like, I heard that they fucked up Boba Fett, but I haven't watched it. And I also thought I heard some good stuff about it, so I wasn't really sure. Like, you know what I mean? When was the last time any big franchise did something that wasn't completely hated on, chat? Like, chat, Nintendo Switch Sports, brilliant game. This is back to Nintendo. Nintendo Switch Sports, brilliant game. People complained, like, chat, it was, it was trending on Twitter that Miis weren't going to be used in the game, even though they are used in the game. You know what I mean? That's like the, that's when I realized where I was like, man, everything, like Nintendo genuinely cannot do well. The Pringles fan base. I feel like there's always like, I mean, you can't change any big like beverage or like food. You know, you can't like make an addition or like change to like some type of food or some shit without people complaining. But that's like, you know, understood. That kind of makes sense. That's a, like, a, that's a big thing. That's changing what people have in life. But yeah, like I, I think the last time I was, had Pringles, I was in China in 2014 because i mean what else was i gonna eat there man apart from pringles
I'm just not a chip person, chat. I feel like chips genuinely suck. Like, in terms of, like, when I say chips, I mean, like, do Americans call them chips? What do they call them in America? I'm pretty sure it's chips in America. In UK, it's crisps. I'm talking about, like, crisps, not, like, fucking chips. Not hot chips. Isn't that crazy, chat? In Australia, as, like, when I was a kid, and I was, like, when I was a kid, like, I, I didn't really know about American culture too much. And I, honestly, I think Australia was less influenced by American culture back then. Especially, like, because of the growth of the internet, I feel like Australia's been a, very Americanized with our culture. But, like, when I was a kid, and I wouldn't say this anymore, but when I was a kid, it was generally hot chips or chips. It, it wasn't, it wasn't like, uh, what's it called? It wasn't like crisps and chips, or it wasn't like fries and chips. Everyone genuinely said hot chips or chips. Sometimes you'd say, like, cold chips, bro, genuinely. Isn't that just so fucking brain dead? <laughs> I wasn't struggling with the corner pins before though. It's just, I've kind of lost like how I'm fucking doing it. Like I've kind of lost like my method and I've tried to regain it and I slightly have it. Now the corner pins are fucking me. My method before was more consistent, but I don't know what changed. Really annoying. It's like, it's just the exact same like ones. That's what's annoying about it. It's the exact same like setups. Oh, I thought I was gonna get corner pinned. I nearly got corner pinned, bro. Okay, fuck. Yes! Yes! throat hurts so fucking much so much bro like so fucking much man yeah say hi to fucking youtube bro oh my bro no that's actually like oh my god chat i literally just i recovered from covid last week after yelling right there my throat feels worse than it did the entire time i had covid chat i wasn't sure if it was 12 or 13 bro i wasn't sure if it was 12 strikes in a row or 13 i actually didn't know i did it i don't have much to say chat oh my look at that bro look at that you know what the craziest thing is? I wanted to do this online at first. I wanted to try and do it online. I thought it'd be steezy, bro. That was a god run chat. I mean, evidently, but like, fuck, was that not really good? Even at the end, I didn't, I didn't have any lucky ones at the end. I feel like the only lucky ones I had were like maybe like three and five around. You know what I mean? Like not actually three and five, but like around that area, bro.